Hey folks, Tim here from Rockout Videography again. I have here in my hand an example of what I think is the future of pedal power. This thing would be great for anyone, but especially people who are busking. Stick around, we're going to look at the features of this unit and discuss my experiences with it so far. Rechargeable batteries have been around since 1859 and were invented by French physicist Gaston Plant. We've had rechargeable battery-powered computers, phones, vacuum cleaners, jump starters for cars, drills, and other power tools for decades, and now even cars, lawnmowers, emergency generators, and flying drones are powered by rechargeable batteries. So why are we still plugging our pedal boards into wall sockets? Sure, you can power a lot of pedals with 9-volt batteries, and you can even buy adapter cables to connect 9-volt batteries to your pedal's negative center power inputs. But even if they are rechargeable, 9-volt batteries are a pain to get in and out of most pedals, and you risk running out of power in the middle of a gig unless you change them out or recharge them every time. Enter the Lot Music Snails SBP2 10,000 milliamp hour rechargeable pedal power supply. You can run up to seven pedals on this power supply and all you have to do is plug your pedal board into a charger before a gig to ensure you don't run out of power. I was concerned about trusting this until I tested it out for a while. I've used it to power pedals when filming demos like the review of the Keeley Basis compressor pedal, when practicing or playing here at the studio and at band practice. I also used it to make the Bass in the Park YouTube short video. I finally decided to test it at a live gig in October and it ran my pedal board fine for the night. I used it again at our last practice without recharging it and it still has power left in it. Since I decided to leave it on my pedal board all the time, I bought a second one to use here around the studio. Let's take a close look at this thing and examine all its features. But first, do us a favor and hit the like and subscribe buttons. This helps us to get to our subscriber goals and reach more people with our videos. I was impressed with the box it came in. For the price, I was expecting a cheap box and some bubble wrap. There are several layers of dense foam sheeting separating the components. The power supply comes with a manual in English and German. There are also seven power cables and a short USB-C charging cable. There is no easy way to get this thing open to look inside, but that's okay because I wouldn't know what I'm looking at. And there's a warning not to do it printed on the bottom. The unit is three inches deep, 5.6 inches wide, and a little over a half inch thick. On the top, you can see the outputs labeled. There are six 100 milliamp outputs and one 300 milliamp output for pedals requiring more power. They are all independent circuits, which is supposed to prevent noise and interference. On the front, you can see the outputs are exactly what you would expect from a pedal power supply. On the side, there's a five volt one amp USB charging output that can be used to charge devices like phones and tablets. A red low battery light that comes on when the charge is low and will also light up when the unit is charging. The full charge indicator light is not labeled but will come on when the unit is fully charged. There is a USB-C charging input, the green power on light that comes on when the unit is switched on and the on off power switch. Lot Music claims that it will run for 10 hours after initial charge time of six and a half hours. I haven't done an experiment to determine how long a charge will really last or recorded the amount of time it takes to charge it when it's fully depleted, but so far it's exceeded any of my needs I have for power. When you turn it on, you'll see the seven blue lights come on for the outputs and the green power on light will come on as well. From there, it just powers your pedals the same way an AC power supply would. I find this unit to be really convenient to use. Not having to find a wall outlet is great. I just put my board on top of my amp, plug a patch cable into the amp, and away I go. This thing has been especially convenient when doing pedal or bass demos for our videos. Now all I need is a 200 watt battery powered bass amp. I suspect that's not far off in the future. If you're busking, something like this is going to allow you to use your pedals without any hassles while performing. There are other options out there for rechargeable pedal power supplies. This is the cheapest option I found, but for a few dollars more, you can get the lot key version of this, which looks to be the exact same product. Or you could go for the Joyo 8 output rechargeable power supply with switchable voltage if you want to spend 70 bucks and think you need the extra features. There are other very similar options available as well if you shop around. Okay, folks, it's time for... The Future YouTube Artist of the Week! This week's featured artist is Discardus Acant. 
I debated about featuring this band, not because they aren't great, but because they have over 21,000 subscribers. Far more than the artists we usually feature. However, they should have 2 million subscribers because they are amazing. The band is from Guadalajara, Mexico, and is part of the emerging Mexican experimental underground. They describe themselves as art rock prog punk of the retro future. Imagine if Black Flag and Mr. Bungle kidnapped Devo and took them to an intergalactic cabaret musical in the Zapotalica Nebula, complete with costume parties, robot performers, and dancing lessons from ZZ Top. I'm pretty sure the bass player is from the planet Vulcan. Their current keyboard player is a droid named Dak. I discovered them when their video for After Destruction showed up in my feed. They are totally original and totally cool. Their records and videos are all well produced, and their live shows include a mixture of musical and theatrical performance. Go to their YouTube channel, subscribe, hit the like button, leave them some comments. They are doing well and are currently on tour in Europe, but should have millions more fans than they already do. Thank you to everyone who's been supporting us and helping us grow. We hope you found this video both entertaining and informative. Leave us a comment and tell us what you think of this battery power technology and if you have any experience with it. Until next week, have a great day.